Are you looking for a beginner level chest and tricep workout with your stability ball? Well, today we're gonna do one. Welcome back ladies, my name is Tabitha. If you haven't been here before, I'm here to help all you busy ladies juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise tips, tricks, routines, and even product reviews to help make fitness a part of your life. And today we're gonna do a very easy beginner stability ball chest and tricep routine. And the reason I say beginner, you will not have to do anything wacky with this ball. We are gonna use the ball as a bench. If you haven't seen how to do that, I will post the video up here so you can watch that if you want to get more ideas. But today, if you have diastasis, you're pregnant, you're super new to the ball, this workout is super safe and super simple good for you. But just because I say super simple does not mean you're not going to get a workout. Trust me. We will be working our chest. We will be working our triceps. And because of this beautiful ball that I love so much, you will actually be getting a core and a glute workout today. Yes, you will be. It is so fantastic. So if you like videos and workouts like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So without further ado, Let's get into the workout. This is all you need, ladies. So we are going to be right here on a mat. Also, I forgot to say, grab a set of dumbbells. I'm gonna have tens with me today. I could go heavier. If you wanna make this a little harder, I highly recommend getting two sets of dumbbells, a heavier one for the chest workout, and then a lighter one when we do the tricep workout. So. I'm just using tens. I gotta be able to make it through the whole video without struggling, you know? So you can struggle on your end, totally okay, but I can't struggle on my end. But let's get into it. So super simple, we're gonna sit back against this ball and come a little bit more forward. We're gonna keep our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna press through the heels Grab your dumbbells, we're gonna put them right on the sides of you. Now all these exercises, we're gonna go about 10 rounds each, and then we're gonna take a slight break in between each repetition, that way you can wiggle out the booty and the core burn. Now, from this seated position, I want you to lift your hips up as a bridge, and if you see, naturally, my head and my upper shoulders and upper back, are resting on this ball, nice and natural. I want this booty not sunk here. I want it up nice and tucked, nice and tight. Knees do not go over your toes. They stay in alignment with your heels the entire time. I want your head resting in a neutral position. So the, re the way I got here is I tuck the ball snugly under my back. Now, if I was just leaning against the ball like this, this is what I would have got, and this is not good, okay? We want, and we don't want this either. See how I'm pushing back with my feet? We don't want that. So we want to sit down, push this ball all the way against as much the small of our back so we can sit nice and tall with it. Then we're going to drive up, all right? And I also don't want you hanging backwards off the ball. This is the perfect position. It should be comfortable up here. It should feel a burn down here. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start with a wide press, so grab them, put them on your legs, it's the easiest way to get up, and then push up. Now you got your dumbbells nice and wide, elbows out. We're gonna go for 10 wide chest press. And up, one, two, three, good. Four, five, squeeze the booty, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, hold it here. I want you to twist those hands around. Good, and we're gonna go overhead pull. So holding, squeezing that booty, it should start burning. Reach it back, using that core and the biceps, your arms, your shoulders, pull it forward. Okay, and back and forward. You should feel it all down the back of your arm. Three, four, good, five, Six, seven, eight, good. Nine, one more. And 10, good, let's bring it down. Good, nice sit, shake it out, shake it out, because your booty might be burning. And we're gonna lift it back up on the hips, lift. 
wide press and up one two three four good five six seven eight good nine and ten overhead pull twist the hands and reach it back one two three four squeeze that booty five six seven good eight and nine one more and ten let's bring it down shake it out just a bit we got one more round right here let's press it up good wide and up one two three four good five six seven eight nine and ten let's twist the hands this would be the point to change dumbbells if you were going with heavier chest press and reach it back and up one two three you should feel it in your core a lot too four good five six seven eight nine one more and ten let's bring it down shake that booty out okay i hope you guys are feeling it in your glutes i do it's not super hard but it's a nice little tingle right now so we're gonna go close chest press bring those dumbbells up heavy weights if you have them i like to put my dumbbells together and i want to press from right under my boobs so a little bit of the upper abdomen area and we're gonna press it straight up keep those elbows in and bring it down and up good three squeeze that booty keep it up four five six seven eight nine one more and ten switch to the lighter weights if you have them we're gonna skull crush keep those elbows in bring it to your head to your forehead squeeze 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 and lift it up one and up two good squeeze those elbows together three four five six seven eight and nine and ten bring it down i hope your guys booties are feeling a little bit more mine is getting a little more intense if you don't feel it in your booty yet i want you to clench those glutes you can also put a mini band right around these knees to help give you outward tension or inward tension while you push outwards let's go back up chest press and close and up one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten skull crushers bring it back squeeze the elbows and up one two don't let those elbows go outwards three four five six seven eight nine one more and ten bring it down good shake 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 last round of this set and bring it up close chest press and one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten skull crusher squeeze those elbows in and up one two three four five six seven eight 
nine, one more, and 10. Bring it down. Good, shake that booty out. So last round, we're gonna do two exercises. We're gonna do flies and underhand pulls. All right, let's drive it back up and up. Arms up, straight in the air. We're gonna open nice and wide and close. One, Whew, two, tens are a little too heavy on me for these three. Too heavy for my liking at least. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Underhand pulls and lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, one more, ah, 10, and bring it down. Now that weight, whew, for those two, a little too much of a struggle for video, but it's okay. We're making through it. All right, two more rounds, we got this. Drive it up, arms straight up, and fly. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going underhand pulls. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good job, eight, squeeze that booty, nine, and 10, and bring it down, good, we're almost there, last round, okay, we got this, now push it up, squeeze, arms up, and open, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten underhand pull. My booty's burning. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh no, here he comes, eight, two more, nine, hi honey, stay right there, ten, go ahead and bring it down, and that is a wrap, only two baby interruptions, I guess that's not too bad, ladies, I hope you enjoyed that workout. I hope you felt it, in, felt it in those glutes. And although it's not a super hard core workout, you are still getting a great core workout. Keep on using this ball. You will be really, really impressed on how strong your core comes from this ball because when we're up here in a bench position, if we're on a normal stable bench, we don't have to balance ourselves. But when we have to balance, we're using our obliques, we're using our core, we're using those glutes and when you're trying to maximize your gains with fitness and you don't have much time, especially because you're a mom, or even if you're not a busy mom and you're just in the gym trying to work out really hard, you have to increase your fitness in other ways. So doing this ball as a bench is like double duty and it's totally, totally worth it. I am obsessed, I've been obsessed with balls. Balls and bands, like, forever since I just like the beginning when I started college and that was in 2005 so I've been using balls and bands for a very very long time um yeah highly recommend it it's totally amazing so keep on going with this ball but I hope that workout was good for you when you do simple workouts 
I wouldn't say it's simple. You make it as hard as you need to make it. But when you're doing a workout like this and you're working your chest at, on the ball and you're balancing and you're working your core and you want it a little bit harder, you could do that set with a wide press, an overhead pull, then stand up and do some squat jumps or do some plyo lunges or do something that is HIIT related or high intensity and then you go back to the nice controlled weight um, workout and that will get you some fat burn in your workout. So just remember there's multiple ways that you can work out to maximize your potential and maximize your time, but I hope you love this workout. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, put them down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. But as always, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.